whatever date we got here. Uh, Friday, April 28, 2023, Board of Equalization to order. Okay, first thing is the roll call. Mr. Brett Town. Present. Ms. Eleanor Thompson. Present. And I'm Patrick Crowley. I'm here, I think. All right, notice of the meeting was properly posted. We have uh, 10 items on the agenda. The first one is BOE 65. It's the property at 3109 Big Oak Drive. This is the one where he bought it from his mother for $120,000 and you know, the last year's value was one hundred and forty-eight. But anyway, and he's not renting it, it's vacant. So what say the board? Uh, this is 170 versus 135, what's the other price? 17500 Right. Mm -hmm. Renting it from his mother. It's, it's vacant right now, I don't think he's renting it. No, it's, it's, they use it as a, uh -oh. Vacation home? Like, yeah, coming back and forth. Yeah. Well, I, I felt like the assessor's valuation was uh, fair with the comps and all. Uh, not being an arm links purchase. Uh, again, those are those determinations I base primarily on comps. And that I agree. Yeah. I, I didn't see sufficient evidence to overcome the assessor's value of 170500 Do I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I would like to move on BOE number 65 that we accept the assessor's valuation of $170,500 on this property. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Property is BOE 94. This is the property at 8949 Northeast 52nd. The assessor had, had lowered his initial value down to 111800 The taxpayer was asking for 80000 This is on a quarter acre lot. Uh, what say the board? I thought this one was a little unique. It was a, basically a rebuild of a dilapidated building. Um, looking at it, it's not high-end finishes. It's nothing, you know, that really stands out. There's no paid parking or anything like that. Uh, I, you know, I might consider even the hundred, the hundred eleven thousand, like a little high to me in my mind. But uh, I was looking at more of something. Like uh, an average between the eighty and the hundred and eleven, which would be ninety-five thousand nine hundred. So I ninety-five thousand five hundred nine hundred. But that would be just a proposal I'm throwing out on this property. It's it's one of those that's you know you just shake your head when you look at that, that and the process on it. And I appreciate the comps and everything. These are these are just difficult buildings to. To reassess and to, to assess a market value in my mind. Anyway, all right. It's my thoughts. I can. It's ninety-five thousand nine hundred. Well, what? Well, I've, uh, I've had the assessor's median value was one hundred and fourteen thousand, uh, and this one was one hundred eleven thousand eight hundred. I understand everything. Uh, Townsend is, is saying it's just that uh, uh, I think the median value of 114,000 is probably right, but it's it's it, it, nonetheless the assessor's at 111,800. I didn't see sufficient evidence to overcome that. And well, I went out with the it and the area and. I'm, I'm gonna go along. I'm gonna go along with Brett. Actually, I would have taken the eighty that they wanted. Um, it's just a little tiny house out in Spencer, um, but I, I'll go along with the ninety-five nine hundred. Okay, is that motion? I'd move on to BOE ninety-four 
that we set the uh, market value of the house at $95,900. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Nay. Aye. Okay. All right. Uh, bring this to DOE. Oh, 82 through 86 were withdrawn by the taxpayer. If I'm not, I don't have, I don't have uh, an 82, it's 83, right? Uh, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. It starts at 82. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but those were all withdrawn. Yes. Uh, so that brings us to BOE number 64, which is property at 4106 Southeast 14th Street in Dell City. And let's see, last year's value was $100,500. Uh, the assessor, looks like he went from $115,500 down to $106,000 even. And the taxpayer is asking, I believe, for $100,500, which is last year's value. Let's say the board. I, I move, move that we accept the assessor's value. That was a generous come down mm -hmm. of 106000 I agree. I second the motion. All right. yeah, I agree. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Real quick, you guys said 106500 no, Okay. Even. Sorry. All right. It was what? One hundred. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was 106 even, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I, two days ago, it's been so long ago. I don't either. The I, I just have a little bit of concern with that one outlier comp of four hundred and fifty-six dollars a square foot. It kind of skews things a little. You know, the others are in the you have one that's like three thirty-one, and then the others are in the mid twos. The median was eight hundred and twenty-five, but there was a big had to do a big adjustment for the average quality. Right. Um, Uh, I I came up with eight hundred fifty thousand uh, as a value of this particular house, and I understand it's lower than the uh, assessor's value, but uh, I think the evidence presented. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I I came up with eight hundred fifty-two thousand eight forty-nine. Okay. I took the median, I took the high and the low out, and came up with. Uh, an amount that was eight hundred and two thousand, but it did not include the the uh, garage and that bonus room above the garage. So I added fifty thousand back in for that. So I could I could go with hundred or eight hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay, do I have a second? Is that a motion? I will I will move that we on BOE number seventy nine uh, that we set the market value at eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, that brings us to DOE number 77, which is the property at 2701 North Prosper in Midwest City. Uh, oh, here. This is the tax sale. Yes. Yeah. So um, I believe Mike has indicated to me that he would like to speak on this item. If, uh, if you don't mind. I wanted to provide a little bit of clarification. He had mentioned during the BOE appeal the other day that he had another property that um, he appealed this year and that we lowered based on the evidence that was he mentioned during the appeal. Problem is, during the informal, he provided image evidence 
of the property and it was in very bad shape and unlivable condition so he provided evidence during the informal which is why we lowered it to salvage value as opposed to this particular property he didn't provide anything during the informal so we had substantial evidence during the informal to lower it based on what he wanted but he didn't do the exact same thing for this particular property so i just wanted to kind of clarify that since he brought that particular property up okay he it's also a decision that we don't I know. we don't take any kind of evidence uh right but i will say that he's got a biker or something that's living there that he's afraid of so uh his other contention the taxpayer's other contention was that uh, that the sheriff sales the tax sales are valid, are, are valid comparative or competitive yeah uh, and i don't and that, i don't buy that argument no I, it, nobody shows up with those and, and offers the actual value of the property so correct they always lowball it correct so I would like to move on BOE number 77 that we accept the assessor's uh, valuation of $88,000 on this property. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. That brings us to the end of the agenda. Uh, any citizens out here? For, uh, anybody want to volunteer to be a citizen? Uh, okay. We don't have any citizens, so let's see. Next week. Uh, any, any other comments of the board yes. or the secretary? Yes, so next week um, we're going to have two days of Ogle. Uh, we'll have five each, Monday and Tuesday. Won't meet on Wednesday. And then Thursday we have, I believe, two properties. One of those is Grant Beatles. So um, I'll, of course, bring that uh, opinion for you to reference. Well, that's the one that thinks that we could, we should change it to agriculture. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, any other board comments? None of these are commercial. Uh, not next week. No. We I, I believe our first commercial property is the eighth, which will be Monday after next. Okay. okay. I'd like to move that we adjourn the meeting. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are here.